2013 GMC Denali Yukon. Oil change. Raise the vehicle up and support it properly. Get yourself a 15 millimeter wrench or a 15 millimeter socket with a ratchet and a drain pan. Remove the drain plug, which is right here on this side of the oil pan. Remove the plug. Let it drain into your pan. So it's draining and dripping small amount. Then you can put the drain plug back in. And then you'll want to get yourself an oil filter wrench, which would be the band steel one. And you're going to loosen up your oil filter. And right now we're going to put the drain plug back in. Before you put your drain plug back in, make sure your gasket is on your plug, which is actually a seal. Make sure it's in good condition. Make sure it's there. Make sure it's not stuck to the oil pan. If that's all good, then you can install the plug. Tighten your drain plug securely. It's only an aluminum oil pan, so you do not want to over tighten it, but you do want to tighten it. And then get your band steel oil filter wrench and loosen up your filter. Once you get the filter loose, it's going to start draining. So, raise up your pan, get a little bit closer to it. Loosen up your filter. Drains into the pan. This is just a drain, it goes into a big bucket. Okay. Leaking pretty good. It's hot. So, I'm gonna drain a little bit into it. take it off okay take the oil filter off make sure the seal stayed on the filter and make sure the seal didn't stay up there on the housing where it mounts under the oil pan that's all good now you take your new filter put some oil on it I use ANCs because that's what my work recommends me to do so I'll put my oil filter up there and I'll secure it up. Get as tight as I can with my fingers. And I'll get my band steel wrench up there and I'll just snug it up a little bit more. Because I don't want it leaking. Okay? Okay, clean it all off after you got it all tightened up. Clean off all your excess oil. Wipe it down good because you don't have no drips making you think it's got an oil leak. Okay? Wipe off everywhere you can see. I spray it with some brake clean and then I'll rewipe it too. Okay. This one has two grease ricks on the tie rod ends, just on the outsides. So I'll do the tie rod ends, I'll grease them, check my differential fluids, front diff fluid, check it right here. If you want to drain it, you drain it right there. You fill it up right there. That's where you check it at. You just want to take it off and it just runs out thin line. Rear diff. Should be a plug. Where's the plug at? Plug, 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 plug. Plug is on the back on this one. Does not have a drain. And when you do check it, pull it out, it should drip out. Or it'll be a quarter inch below. Trans transaxle, this is a transfer case. It's got a fill plug here and a drain plug there. If you want to drain it, you open this one up. If you want to fill it, you open that one up. You open this one up, it should drip out a little bit. Same thing, quarter inch below, okay? Grease your tie rod ends, check your ball joints, check your tie rod ends for movement, check your stabilizer links, make sure they're not broken. Go there, check your bushings on your table at the bar, in and out for your tie rod ends, and a wheel bearing play in and out on the bottom, which is good. I check my brakes through the wheels. Motors are rusty as always, had plenty of decent pad. So now I'm gonna lower it down and I'm gonna check my tire pressure and then I'm going to fill it with oil. Okay, I checked my tire pressures, I set them all up. Now I'm gonna do is put my oil in. Usually it takes about six quarts. Uh, should be a 6.0, 6.2. This is a 6.2, should be about six quarts. Put six quarts in, I'm gonna start it up and I'm gonna check it. And then I want to do is top up my washer fluid. 
My brake fluid's a little low. That means our brakes are getting down. And my overflow uh, for my uh, antifreeze. That looks good. Belt looks good. Pressure's good. So I'm gonna tap the washer solvent off, top off my brake fluid, put my oil cap back on, and I'm gonna start it and check my oil level.